Good morning. Welcome to the Heart and Soul programs of India Virtual Life Family Counseling Ministries. We are so much happy with you and your your uh, curiosity to know more about the Word of God. Every day, morning and e evening, we are spending time with the God. It's truly a great and a positive aspect in our life. As long as we are seeking the grace of God, we could see that God is so gracious to all of us. As we are dealing with the family issues, more of uh, family concerns, he knows that family is the, one of the institutions to fulfill the visions and passions of God about the perishing society. Last week we discussed about the Madesh role. Again, we, we come to another role is that uh, how much you are blessed with a mother. That's what we are looking on uh, this week. India Bridget Life Ministry is always focusing on helping people to know more about their family dealings. So we have our counseling stations in various cities and we have one in a mangrove, Pambol Junction after Indiana Hospital. So if any of you want a personal assistance, please come and contact us. Bridget Life Family Counseling, OPC is there to help you. So today morning, uh, for the meditation of the Word of God, we have to bow our head and ask the, seek the Lord's guidance. Shall we pray? Almighty God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonderful morning you have given us. You are our God, our Father, a wonderful uh, uh, Lord for us to continue to play our role as the children of the Lord. You entrust us a family, a family who is passionate in loving you. As you are expecting all the families who were continue to live for you and continue to love you, Father. May you continue to bless all those who are watching this program and uh, open our hearts and minds to love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We were talking about the mother's role in the home. Today, we just think of the same aspect how much we are blessed by a mother. I still remember my mother as she loved me and uh, another, uh, all other children. Equally she loved. She cooked the food for all of us and she never uh, gave more food to anybody else. Equally. And her decision was very firm. All are not bright, but some are bright. Whether bright children are not, some are uh, small, um, uh, ordinary children are there, she never look on that aspect. I still remember how much I have blessed with my mother. Because the love she possessed and she cherished upon children equally. All our uh, brothers and sisters are remembering the love of uh, my mother. So everybody is blessed with a good mother. That's a, that's a good memory for all of us, all human beings. Majority can remember that they have a blessed mother. If you are owning a good life, owning a good situ uh, situation, you are indebted to your mother. Even father's role we discussed earlier, Father and mother are equally in all aspects. Mother is not higher than a father. Father is not higher than a mother. Both are equally playing their role because they are called by the Lord Almighty. So God is the one who makes them success. So I remember the Abraham Lincoln. He made a, such a great commitment about his mother. It's a mother's prayer. The mother's motivation makes him to overcome all his failures. He is the person become recognized as a big failure for the 45 years of his life. He became a person after that only. Before that, he was a big fail person in many of his uh, life, life situations. His wife was not supporting him properly. But he remembered the love 
of his mother always. Instead of Abraham Lehman, somebody would be there, he would think about some, some, some committing and putting an end of his life. You know, sir, the people in the world are differ, different. During the internal war, you recognize that lot of people, they played a military second scheme, but he was not disgraced. One person always talking about uh, Abraham Lincoln, that uh, he is not a good man. Some, somebody, somebody actually informed him that your uh, enemy is telling about you that you are not a good man. Abraham Lincoln commander like this, yes. He is telling the right things. He is telling that I am not a good man because he is looking the betterment of my life. Just look on his own uh, heart, his own attitude. Abraham Lincoln got all such courage from his mother, the mother's motivation. Mother is a person who could uh, produce quality children in the world. So, in 1 John chapter 3 verse 18 says, Dear children, let us not love with the words and thanks, but with the actions in truth. In Proverbs chapter 31 verse 15 says, The mother who gets up while it is still darkness, she provides food for her family. All of us are blessed by a blessed mother. That's the number one things we, would, we should remember now. And in Proverbs says, a mother who walks up, get up in the early morning, still darkness is there. She carry a great responsibility. Before everybody walks up, she walks up and prepare a good food for all of them. Mother Teresa says one word, it is not what we do, but how much we love, we put it into, we put it into that one, how much love. The mother's love is unquestionable because she produces only quality things for the children. She is not a mother of adjustment. She is a mother of quality. She is using her quality talk, quality time, quality commitment and she connects her husband with her children, God with her husband and children. She became the central person of the home. She is such a great woman. So I and you are blessed with a blessed mother. That's what we have to remember that one. Susan C. John Johnson, she wrote a few words about uh, her mother. You held me in your arms when I was a little child. You helped me with uh, my faltering steps until I learned to run. You watched me and you waited when I went to my school. You insisted that I try things I don't always want to do. You let me go when it was a time to be out of my own. You pray for God to keep me now, so I am never left alone. This is the words of a daughter regarding her mother. How much she is loving her mother with these words. So we are all blessed with a good mother. So all mothers, consider that your children are a great blessings for you at the same time. All children, you should consider your mother as a blessed mother because she connected you with your living God. She introduced you a beautiful quality life. So honor your mother, honor your father. Now the second thing we have to understand about the, I am blessed by her care. Isaiah chapter 49 verses 15 and 16 says, Can a mother forget the baby at her breast, the child she has born. Can a mother forget her, her baby at, at her breast, the child has born. No one can care for us like our mother does. 
Patricia Matthew is another woman. She made a statement like this. One thing I will always remember about my mom is that whenever I was sick, she would sit by my bed and just gently stroke my hair to help make me feel better. It was such a soothing, comforting act of love that made me feel reassured and careful. Patricia made such a statement. And my mom is not a patient cared for her eight children. She also, even now after we all children are grown up, have our own homes. Her mind we still her little ones. Mom always understand when no one else can. Mom can understand every child in the world, in, in born for her, every child. Mom's ha heart is beating for you. Mom, mom's eye is watching for you because God understood each mom to take care of her own children. So, number second, we have to understand we are blessed by the care of our mother. And third thing, we have to remember that uh, I am blessed by her example. Children are learning, coping, nature is there. In Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 to 5 says, But teach what is good, then they can train the younger one. Teach what is good. And train the younger one. The mother's heart is the child's school room. That's a statement uh, is made by Henry and the Beecher. Mother's heart is the child's school room. In chapter, the Proverbs chapter 31 verse 26 also says about the mother who speaks wisdom and faithful instruction on her tongue. Her tongue is also designed to guide her children. And George Washington is uh, one of the founder of uh, U.S. and the president of U.S. He made a statement like this. My mother was the most Beautiful woman I ever saw. All I am, I owe to my mother. I attribute all my success in life to mortal, intellectual, and physical education I received from her. This is a statement made by George Washington about his mother. I and you can also make such a great statement about our mothers. Still, if my ma my mother is no more, but I still I keep a love for her. It's an eternal love. Our mother's love is not a temporal. <clears throat> it's a living love, eternal love. It is inspiring us, it's motivating us as long as we are existing in this world. Some way, that love is motivating and inspiring us. That is making us, it is instructing us. Mother's love comes through various instructions, approaches, attitude, love, care. Mother become a full personality in us because the way she presented for her children. I am blessed by her prayer and her faith. If you look on the second Timothy chapter, one verse five. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith, that is in you, which dwell first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice. I am persuaded in you also. St. Paul is mentioning this about uh, Timothy. I am inspired by seeing the life of your mother and your grandmother. The way they trained you, you become a most worthless, worthful person a qualitative person to carry the missions of God. That's what it says about uh, Mother's Prayer. That's why I mentioned about the mother of St. Augustine was praying for the conversion of her child. Lord listened to her prayer. Augustine became a saint now. He is the person who is trusted by God. Anonymous saying is saying that a hundred years from now, it will uh, it will not make a matter, but what my account was, account in the bank, a sort of house I lived in, 
or the kind of car I drove. But the world may be different because I am, I was important in the life of a child. So mother's child is, mother's love is inspiring every child in the world to feel a sense of belonging, a sense of security, a sense of understanding, communication, attachment, and a devotion to God. A qualitative mother can produce qualitative children. That's what uh, Joseph Parker says very clearly about the greatest uh, and the most unselfish substance in the world is the mother for her child. That's what uh, Abraham Lincoln also saying, I remember my mother's prayers and they have always followed me. They have uh, clung to me all my life. No man is poor who has had a godly mother. If anybody is having a godly mother, don't say that you are a poor mother, poor man. You are rich because you have a rich mother. It's not a godly rich, but she is a godly mother. Ruth recognized the quality in uh, Naomi, because she is belonging to a God. She knows that. Investing in her rest of the life in Naomi's community and God is not uh, a fake one. It is a result oriented one. Abraham Lincoln says, all that I am on hope to be, I owe to my angel mother. This is what uh, Abraham Lincoln says about it. So, mother's hand is the hand of the Lord, mother's eye is the eyes of the Lord, mother's heart is the heart of the Lord. How does a God is re relating to a person's life? That is through mother. Father's assurance is there, father's modeling is there, father's endorsement is there, but every feeling should be alive only through mother. Mother's love is genuine. Mother's word is heart-touching. Mother is a great blessing. So therefore, every mother in the world is a real blessing for all of us. Adam and Eve. So Adam called Eve the mother of all living things. All the living things in the world, Eve is the, Eve is the mother. That possession is forever for her. The mother Mary was recognized as the greatest blessed woman. As then Jesus Christ came to this world to seek and save the lost. She is recognized as the most uh, blessed woman. Because her commitment, she, not, she recognized that she was chosen by the Lord according to Luke chapter 1 and 2. When the message came to her, her heart was filled with joy. The angel spoke to her, You are a blessed woman. Jesus considered her as also a blessed woman. He spent all his years with his, his mother. That's another blessing for uh, Mother Mary. She could see she could listen, she could experience, she could watch, she could request. She moved with Jesus all these years. And she saw that God's eternal solution for the entire humankind through Jesus Christ. She was never, never disappointed with that one. She had never questioned God and his plan for her life. She knows that she was a channel of blessing. Channel of blessing. The majority of the people, those who believe in the world, Mother Mary also is considered as the greatest woman. Many are praying to her. 
that devotion has sometimes the sharing from Jesus glory to her life but we believe that Jesus consider his mother as a greatest mother at the time of the difficulty he listened to the voice of mother yes she lived as a blessed mother even she underwent a kind of painful situation she watched the scenarios of the crucifixion she was left alone but she was not up, not at all upset with the, her life she kept all the words in her heart and she visited the mother of jo john the baptist elizabeth she also had a great blessing in her life because in her old age god compassed upon her and her husband and they got a child so both families were so much happy the mother's role is so much crucial mother is the greatest gift from the god because god is a one who plays the father and mother in some 119 verse 9 says how can a young man keep his ways pure that's only by living according to your word according to your word the mother's role is to introduce the god's word to her children mother is interpreting the love i heard about the uh, reading the different versions of the word of god and one person asked sir which version you like because here people read the king james version niv version american versions and various version sir which version you like to hear the word of god yes sir all such versions are there but still i like the versions of my mother my mother introduced me the word of god through her own life i like that version very much that it has a deeper meaning that it has a emotional attachment that it has a personal notification i like that word mothers you are a great blessing for your children your words can introduce your god to your children if you speak to your children there is no hesitation for the children to listen your voice your voice has a upper hand upon all voice in the world and rest of the voice are secondary but your voice is a supreme voice if your child is telling lie mothers you are responsible for that you should instruct your child to follow the instruction which is spoken by god because you are mouth is the mouth of the lord how can you curse a child how can you curse the family no right your mouth is the mouth god has given you to bless your children motivate your children guide your children so god may strengthen your voice to help a child help the soul of your child So may God bless you with all these verses, because mothers are a real blessing, and every person should say, "I am blessed with what she has done to me. I am blessed with her care. I am blessed with her examples. How much she loved, how much she educated me, and uh, her, I am blessed with her prayers and faith. If I am successful in my life." i am indebted to my mother because god show me his face through my mother so that i can continue to love my mother whether she is alive or dead i should keep such a great idea great truth communicate same thing to my children also too
May the good Lord bless you to become successful mothers and all children in the world to remember you and your presence. Your life is worth. Your life is a blessed life. So let's pray and close our eyes and pray that the Holy Spirit of God may continue to use you to become a great mother. Father, we thank you for uh, the mothers who watch these programs. May you cover them with your precious blood. Let them understand that their role in this world is so crucial and the way they dealt with their children is a blessed thing that is rewarding, that will bring blessings to them, Father. They will be an angels of God, they will carry the message of God and they will heal the children so that they can, their children will become a qualitative person in the society. May you guide them, Father. Give the courage to all the mothers to become a great mothers. Their children become a great blessing. May you continue to be with each one of us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for watching our program. May God bless you. Thank you so much.